everybody. Um, so I guess the news is we're not coming back until May 4th. Um, so I'll keep doing this and posting assignments as best as I can, um, when I can, hopefully a couple times a week. Um, so yeah, I hope you're, you're stay doing well and hopefully you find these videos somewhat entertaining as well. Um, I'm sorry if I'm embarrassing myself, but, uh, I want to, uh, okay. So get to, to down to business. I want to review the mill girls, uh, documentary or the, the, not the documentary, the mill girls source. And then talk about the next assignment, which I already, which is posted to the, to the side and then below or to that side. Um, but real quick to recap the mill girls source, Harriet Robinson. Question number one, uh, the girls went on strike. Um, I, oh, I got a couple things from like people sending me stuff like Tiana sent me stuff. So thank you, Tiana, thank you, um, for, uh, sending those work so I can just take a look to see if it's making sense. I appreciate that. Uh, you can send it to Love Sosa one three seven or my work account. That's fine. Um, but question number one: uh, the girls went on strike, as the video said, because of the lower wages. Um, but also, at the end of the source, it said that they were also asked to pay more for the room and board, which really got them upset. So they had they lowered the wages and increased the prices on room and board, which really upset the girls so they went on protest rightly so uh question number two uh it was the oh yeah make sure you have your paper out but uh it was the first time a woman spoke out in public um in in protest so it's this you know kind of symbolized that giving them a voice um and empowering women in that particular way they didn't just let this stuff happen they went out and they actually they, they tried to voice their concerns um, number three, uh, my answer was minimal pay and, uh, pay for room and board, poor conditions. They kind of felt like slaves because of this, uh, connection to the idea of their restrictions. You know, their, their whole life is restricted. Um, and their work, they're making such a low wage that it didn't feel like they actually were working or being paid. They were actually just being forced labor is kind of what it felt like to them. So they, they made themselves, they compared themselves to slaves, which is actually what we're getting to next. Um, and then final, or last two questions, Harriet herself, she didn't speak, but she acted, she led through her actions. So she um, was kind of fed up with the situation, all these girls not doing anything. So she decided to go and just get up and walk. And then sure enough, she got girls followed her. Um, so that leading by example type of thing. And then number five, nothing changed. In fact, the wage is actually lowered even more. Um, but again, the big symbolism is, you know, women at the time, like if you think about the, the whole system of these factories, so much of their life was told to them and got, they had to go to, you know, they couldn't drink alcohol. They had their food prepared for them. They had only one day a week to actually go out and enjoy. And even on that day, they were required to go to church. Um, they had to work these certain hours, these long hours and get this low wage. So much of their life was controlled and restricted um, that even for women to go on strike, make these protests, have these speeches, it gave them that first sense of empowerment to go against uh, and, void, and to go against the power that was harming them. Um, so it's such a huge moment in uh, like w women's rights um, and kind of in a, in a long-term way, I guess, launched the suffrage movement, which was women earning the right to vote. Um, so like hashtag girl power, like awesome, um, super cool. So uh, to a more like next, we've looked at the mill system in the North, the economy in the North. Now we're going to look at the economy in the South and so inherently tied to both economies we've talked about multiple times was the idea of slavery. Um, so the next assignment, and before we dive into, so what did they do about it type of logic, um, we are gonna look at a couple of videos. I think it's a total of five, five videos that introduce the kind of the, the, the trading, the auctions, the life of, um, enslaved people um, in Southern America. Um, 
So, and then we're going to kind of, after we unpack those conditions, we'll start to look at how did people resist um, slavery. So, start with the video that's um, the TED-Ed video. The assignment's posted down here next to it says click here, so just make sure you load that assignment. And the links for each video are next, like down here and next to me. Um, I have all the video links there. Um, and they're also on the Google Doc, which I put in edit mode, so you can access. Um, quick note on that, if you want to type all your answers, make sure, because it's in edit mode, if you edit it, you actually, if you type right away, that's the like original copy, that's my copy, so that everybody else will get your answers. So make sure you go to file, and then hit make a copy, so then it's yours. Um, so, with that. You're going to start with the slave trade video, answer those questions, then you're going to move through the other set of questions and the other videos. Um, one TED Ed and four are from uh, History Channel redid The Root or Roots, which was this old, not old, older, um, like a uh, series on slavery in America. It was actually really powerful with Kinta Kunta. Um, and uh, they remade it with, you know, a couple of years ago, 2016, and so they put this, like, documentary feature alongside it. So we're watching the clips of the documentary. We couldn't, I can't access the actual thing. Um, so watch those videos, answer the questions, and then I'm trying a new thing to see if it works, but I tried to post a link to a discussion board with, like, a debrief, two debrief questions. So you'll click that link at the bottom of the note catcher, and try to see if you can post a reply to the two questions. If we can do it that way, it opens up a different level of us to do some stuff virtually. Um, so please try to post to the discussion board. That's also a sense of me knowing who's completing the work um, and who's not completing the work. Um, yeah, we're gonna start shifting into a couple other things related to slavery soon, but um, yeah, that's the assignment and the review for today. I'm sorry the previous videos were so long, I'm going to try and cut it here. Um, as always, be safe, uh, be happy, wash hands, and help out around the house. Take care.